What's going on everybody, Gar Hoover here and I am back with a fun product called Touch Me by Playtronica. Now this, contrary to what you might think, is a MIDI controller. You grab the gold plates and as you do that it generates electricity and signals that are converted into MIDI information. And you can pick the key, you can pick the scale, it's great for people that have no experience with music that want to participate in a jam or something they can just touch this and make some jams and songs or if you have kids and want them to be engaged in music great way to explore that pretty durable actually and one of my favorite ways to use it is with generative patches so if you have someone touching it you can create notes that are within a scale it's great for ambient music and that's what we're gonna do with it today is we're gonna connect it to the OP1 and then create some ambient music with it and probably use a guitar back here as well to create a full track. Let's see what we can get out of the Playtronica Touch Me. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start with a drone, a bass note that'll just carry throughout this sequence. I think that'll be the best choice. Right now, I've just got a basic uh, dimensions patch. A little bit of pulse width modulation, and I'll be adjusting the cutoff as we go through it. And we'll see as we do it on the tape track like this, one of the older tape tracks, the cassette mode, it's going to be a lot more distorted. There's more of that ambient characteristic. So let us record this in. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so to add to the drone, we're gonna have it droning with a certain key and I'm using the hold sequencer here and it's a very interesting sequencer if you don't know how to use it. So you can hear there's the drone. Now I'm gonna hold this and it's gonna play it for me. And then... You can kind of ascend and descend with this fake arpeggio effect. And that's how I use it. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be used, but... A lot of this usually comes down to creativity with the OP1 anyway. So let's record that in. And that should do it for that. Let's see how it sounds. So now it's got that awesome kind of lo-fi ambient vibe. So we've got that going. Now let's see what happens when we add Touch Me to the mix. All right, I've got the Playtronica set up. Good to go, key of C. And in a major pentatonic. It's just connected through USB, very simple. So let's see how it will sound with our setup. Honestly, that sounds awesome. So let's just record it. Perfect. That is gonna be great. Now let's throw some guitars on track three. All right, I've got my guitar plugged in. It is a Gibson Firebird. Uh, I feel pretty good about this, so let's just go.
worked out great. There you go. Great stuff. Very fun. It has limitless possibilities, really. You can kind of use it to generate whatever riffs or things. And if you like it, then you can just cut up the MIDI and use it in a song or whatever else if you're using a DAW. It's a great product, a lot of fun. I'll just play the track one more time so you have time to pick which one of my videos you would like to watch next. Have a great day. Thank you.